Well, welcome to Totally Awesome Fishing with this time we're at the London Boat Show and I'm here looking at, yes, radars, sounders, everything you could need on a boat. And I'm with Dan, who's one of the sales managers here, and he's going to show us the latest gadgets, gizmos, and whatever you want for your boat. And it's supposed to be touchscreen. Let's check it out. So Dan, I see behind me you've got a 14 inch chart plotter there. It's got the words touchscreen. Tell our people what it's all about. Okay, so the Time Zero Touch, it is touchscreen. We've also included on our fish finder some history. So we can go back through time and see what we might have gone over five or 10 minutes ago. We can make a point, we can do waypoint straight onto our screen from our, from our um, fish finder. And there it is on our chart. Zoom in and have a look at that. If we select him. We're at uh, 72 meters depth there when we put that chart, that mark in. We can go back and reset our autopilot to circle us back automatically back to that waypoint we've just created. That's good. Now, what sort of vessel would you be putting a unit like this on? You know, I mean, it's a pretty impressive piece of kit. It is. We, we consider this to be one of the top of the range um, units. We'd expect to see it on something, a larger si size vessel, something that maybe gets used every day for fishing, um, more the commercial side of things perhaps. Um, but also, you can see all this on our iPads as well. So the guy who goes out on the weekends, he just wants to go and have a bit of a fish, and have it on his, uh, on his iPad, and, uh, and actually have a good time with it. Another part of our system is our ability to interact with iOS devices, like my iPhone here. What the system's doing here is it's feeding me the fish finder information directly from the unit that's on board to my phone. So even if I'm hanging out the back of the boat with my rod, I can still see the fish finder. And how many people can that cover with the system? With this particular system, we can have three people looking at the fish finder at any one time. Uh, we can also have someone with an iPad who's also looking at the fish finder, uh, or in fact taking complete control of our, uh, of our system from their iPad. Okay, so here's the main menu. From here we can select what, what we want to see on our screen. So I'm just going to have a quick look at the weather files. So this is a weather grid file for the mostly Atlantic we've got here. This is rain clouds, pressure lines you can just see, and the wind feathers. And with a click of that button there, we can animate that over the top of our charts. If you can see the front's coming over, we can also change the information that we're looking at. So I don't want us to have a look at rain clouds anymore. I want to look at, uh, uh, say, wave heights. There we go, so there's wave heights and our coloration there. So the redder it is, the, the rougher it's going to be for you. But this is on a big scale, we can zoom in and get a close up, detailed snapshot of what's going on. Touch my screen, we've got our wind, our wave heights, wave periods, and, uh, and even in some places I've got plankton blooms on there. Is that right? Well, where's the fish? That's the one we need is where yeah. X marks the spot. That's a brilliant piece, isn't it? I've never seen that before. Not very well, I bet. Plankton blooms for the Atlantic there. So all this is plankton blooms here, yeah. So this unit here, as it sits, is four thousand nine hundred pound. Um, with that, it comes with the GPS sensor. We can also add in other things like our radars. We can add in um, water fish finders. We can even add in bottom discrimination fish finders, where it will actually tell you what it thinks the bottom is made of, um, just from the sound. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's sure. Bottom discrimination is awesome. Would they, would they use something like this on a commercial fishing boat as well? Is that something that would be a market for? Is it more just for leisure? The, uh, there's a lot of the features in here are actually very, very, very powerful. Um, the commercial guys see it, they're not that keen on the touch screens, but they're getting there, they're, they're, they're seeing the applications they can use it for. They like the fact they can do it on their phone, they like the fact they can integrate their iPad, they like the fact they can control things without being right in front of their units. That is a good, uh, with the phones, that's going to be you're out on the deck or somewhere else. Otherwise, you're going to keep in and out the cabin. If it's a big boat, you've got a long way to travel. So you can go straight in, follow it around, shout to the guys, okay, the wreck or whatever it is are coming up. Get the lines down. I can see the facility there. That's good. So what I've just done on the screen here uh, is we've just drawn up the uh, the bottom discrimination here. What it's doing is it's taking the uh, the strength of the echo and the strength of the tails of the echo found here. And it's actually telling me what it thinks the ground's made of. And in this case, we've got sand 97% and rock 2%. And over what sort of depths can that work down to, Dan? Uh, on high frequency, you're looking at probably up to about three miles. Three miles? <laughs> on, uh, on, the, uh, on the low frequency, a little bit less, you're probably looking at about a mile-ish, depending on, uh, on the depth. sea conditions and also the salinity of the, uh, of the water. And still retain that definition even at, 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 the, at the full scan, as it were. Exactly. Great piece of kit. Great piece of kit. I'm, impre I'm impressed with that one. 
can't afford it, but I'm very, very impressed. I'm sure that technology will let me come into other units as well. Do you think, Dan, is there going to be a reduction in ground discrimination? The touch screen? The ground discrimination is already in quite a lot of our smaller units, so uh, we've got a new um, six, uh, six, FCV627, uh, 587. They both contain these, the same, the same technology is already built into those. Um, and we've also, which we'll hopefully have a look at in the moment, the GP products, which have also got it in already. Really That's great. Nice piece of kit. Very, very classy, very effective. What I would say is totally awesome.